Hey, uh... Shit. You trying to give me another heart attack? No, I, I just... It was rhetorical, for God's sake. Come on, don't look so lost. Take a look around or something. You know, spy a little. It's not like anyone's gonna stop you. I'm sure you saw the whole thing, and that makes you special. Always looking out the window, sticking your nose in anyone else's business. I did see it, and I'm gonna have nightmares. I think we've got enough nightmares to last us a while. Don't talk about that. Don't ever talk about that. I'm happy to stop talking. I'm trying to watch a show, you know. You got a better view of the street on TV. Staring out the window. What good's that gonna do? You get a better view of the street on TV. Maybe if I stopped bringing him snacks, he might look around the room to see if I was still here. Look at that poor excuse for a man. Won't even get out of his chair. Likes that chair more than me. Find it, then at least I'll know what happened. I've looked everywhere. Why did they do this to me? What if I never find it? If I only knew who it was, maybe I'd know where to look. You look lost. What's lost is my body. I know I got killed right here. And I know it sounds crazy, but but I'd feel a lot better if if I knew where my body was. Are you a detective or something? Be my only hope. Yeah, I'm a detective. Any idea who did it? That might lead us to your body. I know they were old people, and I know they lived in this apartment building. Other than that, everything is hazy. But I was doing a lot of drugs at the time. Sounds like you do need a detective. I'll see what I can find out from any older residents of the building.
Honey, they can probably hear you talking through the ceiling. This is Monica Chase in Salem, where a grisly murder has the town in the grips of panic. Staring out the window. What good's that gonna do? That girl collapsed like paper when Grace hit her. I still can't believe she died. It happened so fast. I've never seen Grace so crazy before. It must have been the lack of sleep. Thank God it's all over. I can finally watch TV in peace. Like Grace couldn't take the girls' party. More so, she killed her and roped her husband into helping dump the body at Smithwick Quarry. I should get back and let her know. Turns out, the reason you can't find your body is because it's not in the building. It's at Smithwick Quarry, about five miles out of town. Oh. Well, why'd they do it? Your parties were keeping them awake at night. They finally got too tired and snapped. I... I thought they were just being unreasonable. I didn't know they would do this. <sighs> Thanks for your help. You have no idea how big a relief it is just knowing. No problem. You know, 
I never really liked cops. And they were always giving me shit, telling me how I was messing up my life. We never saw eye to eye on things. But you really came through for me. Probably should have listened to what they were trying to tell me. Maybe then things wouldn't have ended up like this. Thanks again. Jennifer to move out of this dump. My granddaughter needs a yard. Where does she play? The street? Hope he doesn't ask any questions. He'll know I've tuned him out. Gus needs some friends. Someone else who can listen to him yammer. Hope he doesn't ask any questions. He'll know I've tuned him out.